Helpful watercolor tips and tricks lesson 6. Protecting watercolor painting from little accidents in the painting process. I'm preparing to paint a larger subject than usual, which has a lot of free space around the subject, and I need to keep that area clean. In watercolor realistic painting, it is very important to keep the surrounding area neat and clean. As you can see, my subject is quite big, but also the paper size is also big, and I need to protect it. The most common accidents is water drops, sometimes with watercolors, and accidentally dropping brush or a pen. In this lesson I will show you three ways of how to protect watercolor painting from little accidents. Let's start with simple paper towels that you use maybe in the kitchen, in the bathroom. I have four pieces of paper towel placing accurately on the paper surface. Using a tape. Applying tape on the sides of the paper that you will be painting on and the paper towel is already there and sticking paper towel to the paper surface. tape accurately so it really sticks there and holds there in the places. Adjust paper towel so that each piece can open separately. I have my paper towels a little bit overlapping each other so I made a little cuts and they can now be opened each section separately. And now you can place your palm and be safe with painting and when finished you can close it and keep it from little accidents from surrounding area. The second type of protection is using plain paper. It can be any paper that you have. The size should be the size of your painting. If you have bigger painting you can stick with tape two or three or four papers until you have the right size. And sticking the upper part again with the tape, plain paper sticking, applying to the painting paper. Plain paper is attached to your painting, you can check the painting is underneath, plain paper is on the upper side and now with the scissors I'm cutting out a little piece in the middle part. Be careful that you are not damaging your real paper. I'm cutting a little piece that I'm planning to start painting, not the whole area, just a little area and I can paint that. When I finish that area, I can cut even more until I will be painted the whole painting. That way this is one of the safest protection methods and you are really sure that everything is protected. The third is I'm taking transparent paper you can use also plain paper, it doesn't matter here. With transparent paper, which is very thin, 
I can just wrap around the paper or again stick to the upper part of the painting. With tape I'm attaching plain paper to the upper part of the painting. When I'm starting to paint I completely open my painting place a paper towel piece on the painting where I can rest my palm because our palms are also tend to get dirty with the graphite or pen we have a protection for that as well and after finishing painting session in the evening you can cover your work and leave it on the table without any worries that someone can ruin it it is very important for watercolor realistic painting to keep the surrounding area neat and clean. It is one of the main things, even if the painting is done super perfect, but you have some little accidents, it can re really ruin the whole painting. Thank you for watching, hope you learned something new and see you in my next lessons. Bye bye!